Greetings world. We are anonymous. In disturbing news, the Israeli dictator Benjamin Netanyahu released on Friday, May 3rd, 2024, a utopian plan for a rebuilt Gaza called Gaza 2035. The dictator published a nine-page PowerPoint file describing a future where Gaza is so-called de-radicalized from Islamism and transformed into a trade hub of prosperity and innovation and integrated into the Middle East's economy. The Gaza 2035 plan seeks to leverage Gaza's geopolitical role in trade routes between Cairo, Baghdad, Europe, and Yemen. The reconstruction process will be supervised by a coalition of the Arab states, which are Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Bahrain, Jordan, and Morocco, combining the new infrastructure investments and integration of the region with the newly discovered gas fields just north of Gaza, would help support the burgeoning industry. Solar energy fields would also be built in the Sinai, along with desalination plants, that will help to offset the so-called climate change. Another idea put forward by the plan is, to turn Gaza into a key hub for electric vehicle manufacturing. The hope is that, all of this integration, can turn Gaza into a competitor against the cheap Chinese electric vehicle manufacturing. The plan is to move Israeli security responsibility to Israel, while the Arab coalition will create a multilateral body, called, the Gaza Rehabilitation Authority, to oversee the reconstruction efforts, and manage the Strip's finances. The Gaza Rehabilitation Authority is to be run by so-called hand-picked Gaza Palestinians, and will take the responsibility for managing the safe areas. This will be done in coordination with the implementation of a Marshall Plan, and a de-radicalization program. At that point, the hand-picked Palestinians, would fully manage Gaza independently and join the Abraham Accords. Although, the plan does not explicitly call for the creation of a sovereign Palestinian state, the dictator's utopian plans, comes amid widespread demonstrations against the terrorist state of Israel, from pro-Palestinian protesters on college campuses, who argue that the terrorist state, is committing genocide against the Palestinian people. Also, the United Arab Emirates offered South Africa, billions of dollars, to drop their genocide case at the International Court Committee, against the terrorist state of Israel, which is, and forgive our vulgar choice of words, unfucking believable the United Arab Emirates to South Africa, which includes huge investments to withdraw from suing Israel in the International Court of Justice. Emirates leaks documents reveal United Arab Emirates officials sought to persuade South Africa to drop its Court of Justice case against Israel by offering billions in oil refinery investments. Emirates officials sought for weeks to secretly offer various temptations to their counterparts in South Africa, including opening various economic relations between the two countries. In addition, the only Emirates request from South Africa was to withdraw from suing Israel or at least reduce the severity of the genocide charge included in the file in the Court of Justice. However, South Africa insisted, after filing the lawsuit, on proceeding with the International Court of Justice and ignoring the Emirates offer, according to the same sources who indicated extreme disappointment in Abu Dhabi at the failure of these attempts. For the fifth consecutive month, the United Arab Emirates has positioned itself as the primary regional ally of Israel, amid its ongoing genocide with the Gaza Strip. In parallel, the United Arab Emirates took advantage of its regional relations to avoid opening other arenas against Israel especially in Syria. The United Arab Emirates warned the Syrian regime against interfering in the genocide of the Palestinian people, or allowing any attacks to be launched from the Syrian territory onto Israel. We are anonymous. We are the collective. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the corrupt corporate paid United States government, the coalition of the Arab states, which are Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Bahrain, Jordan, Morocco, and the murderous terrorist regime of Israel. We charge you all for war crimes, and hold each and every one of you sick, twisted, sadistic individuals, 
especially the dictator called Benjamin Nutcase Yahoo, with genocide against the Palestinian people in Gaza. Expect for the largest planetary protest against your supported by the corrupt United States government. So, expect that.